I'm going to show an extension for Genially by Scape, which allows objects to remember their position even if you change slides or even if you start a new session on Genially. So normally if you've got drag elements turned on, you can move objects like here we're decorating a Christmas tea tree. But if you go to a different slide and come back to it, the position of the object will be reset. So to change that, you need this Genially um, extension. So what it looks like is this. So I can put all these baubles on the tree. And now if I go to a different slide and come back, they will still be on the tree. And only if I click the reset button, will they all go back into the original place. So to do this, you need a few uh, objects. So there are four different sets of templates here and at the top it tells you what the differences are so either you can keep the position of objects from one session to another meaning even if you close the genially and open it up again it will still remember or just during a session so if you go from one page to the next and then come back the objects will still be in the same place um, or you can do the same for all the objects in all the pages um, during the session or during all sessions. So what you need to do is um, copy these objects from the slide. So I'm using the one that it only remembers for this session. So if I take all these objects, actually I only need the top three really. Um, so I need the, the function, which just needs to be in the corner somewhere of my slide, but it will be invisible. So I don't need to worry about it. Then I need one of these two objects. Um, there are two different shapes. I'm not quite sure why, because they do the same thing. So all I need to do is put them next to my object or behind my object that I want to move and just group them together. So I draw a box around with both of them and group them. And now this applies to it. And then I can add the erase button or the reset button to it um, but if I want it to have my own writing on it here like reset in that case you just need to make an extra button um, so you can just make a, a box and put your own text on it and then group it all with that button but be careful it will only be active in in the shape of the original button. So if I do this, um, oops. so if I combine these two, now if I click on the side, it won't re really do anything. It will only work in the middle where the original reset button is hidden uh, behind it. But you can easily make the reset button bigger in the background. So you can just take this and make it really long and big um, so it fits your button, whichever size you need.